February 25th, uh, heading into the traps. So last time I was in there was on the 9th. Since then we had about 80 centimeters of snow and it all fell in within like 50 hours. So we were bombarded with snow. But uh, there have been skidoos across the Goose Bay Northwest, so trail should be beat pretty good now. Chilly day, how much wind? Minus 22 showing on the thermometer. I think it's minus 31 with a bit of wind chill. So, yeah, hopefully another good day and uh, get a few more martins again. Get the traps all in order and cleaned up. And Just in uh, inch from the salt water, a couple of kilometers. This place here is just like a spot of woods in between two burnovers, really. Put this uh, trap here in like early December, and uh, I always put one here every year, just early in the year starting off. I just go so far, set a few. I usually get a Martin here, and I had one first trip like in December, and uh, that's usually all I'll get here is like one, or you'd be lucky to get two, and uh, so it's just a little handy spot here. And, uh, Coming along and I just happen to look in and geez Martin. So the second Martin here now. And uh, the place it is just a little small patch of wood, so usually you'll get one there. Like I said, starting out and that pretty much be it around here. So yeah, I'm just in from the just in from the salt water there not very far and uh, yeah it's good. First Martin. First trap and Martin. Nice dark one too. Yep, yeah. beat still there. So what I'll do with he now, I'll leave him and uh, picking up this evening because there's no point in uh, <coughs> taking he all the way over to camp pond now and bouncing around in the sleigh and, and uh, I'm only just half hour from home there yet so better picking up this evening on the way along there. Yeah, so I got one more trap just up here. Same thing, little, just a little patch of woods. Oh, so just up to the next trap there. I said uh, we had another one up in the next spot of woods. So yeah, um, oh, just on the screen there, uh, just to show. So it's just 18.8 kilometers yet left from home. So just getting started. Man, I didn't expect this, another Martin. As I said, I sought these traps in December. I had one here and one out there where I just took the last video right away like within a week but there was no sign and no never had a touch since and it's uh, you know end of February now so makes you wonder where he comes from a couple of months there nutting and uh, these traps now I usually these few handy ones I like this time of year I usually be plucking them up because you don't usually get uh, much after the, you know the first couple of weeks you'll pick up what's in the area because there's only a small spot of woods here but yeah Jesus did not expect that this morning. So it's a paler one, but nice Martin all the same. A white partridge wing. Yeah, I uh, drove past this one a few trips now, and you know, just glance in and go on again because you don't expect nothing. But man, what a start. So I'll do the same with you leaving. Come along this evening picking up, so no sense in uh, taking them all the way in there and back out again. I said I'm only 18 kilometers from, from the house there yet. So, <coughs> so my main lot of traps now is over the other side of Witch Doctor. And these here are usually, like I said, the ones between here and Jack's Lake, usually I'll get a few right away. And usually don't pick up much more after. But man, that was a big surprise there. Just driving along by one of my traps there. Uh, see how much snow we had, lah. That was up to my, over my head. The, the box was up over my head setting in. There the year, earlier the year. It was right down pretty low now. And geez, I just got a fright. The spruce partridge took off from right there. I landed up there in the tree somewhere. I'm gonna walk in now because I haven't been getting any partridges at all. Well, I was trapped yet, so can't pass that. Just into the witch doctor shelter at 10 o'clock there now, so. I'm only an hour behind last time I came over. Well, I left a little bit later. Still warm in here, somebody was here last night for the night. So, brand's still in the stove, so I throw another couple junks and have a little warm up. Not very cold, just 
Have a little warm up before it heads on in that way. First trap is just over there. Yeah, so it was nice to show up here and uh, already warm in here. Beautiful day. I say I'm about like eight traps in now and nothing yet. Pretty scarce. I just came to a brand new sign la walked right across the skidoo track. So there was a couple of guys ahead of me that they had still had the cabin warm, so it was only like in within the last hour or so I think. It's track up right there too. But yeah, pretty scarce so far. I thought for sure I'd pick up a couple or one by now, but eight traps in nothing. But a lot of traps yet, so we'll see. First Martin from Pitch Doctor Shelter. Had one here last time too. Just down right here on the bottom of the bank, brand new track. So I thought he'd come up here, but that one was, uh, he was already in there, look. See the snow on it, so there's another one just across the road down here. Just like a couple hundred yards back there. Just got that trap reset, and uh, I'm just noticing that there's never we never had so much snow over this way. And I heard that it was uh, from which doctor out was all a lot of snow, and just like you know, I'm just sinking in so much land. My tractor and I'm right back on my hard track, walked in there without snowshoes, and uh, can't even sink down no farther than that. So yeah, never had so much snow in here. Not much difference at all. Brand new sign all up through the road there. Two traps there right between. Track, Martin track right between the two traps. And nothing in each trap. But I was saying about the snow, you can see, I'll still see the shape of my snowshoe track from last time. Huh? So that was 16, geez, about 16 days ago now when we had that big storm out. Pretty much had all the snow out towards the coast. And uh, hard, like, you know, well, you see the shape. So, never had much snow in here at all. It's a new trap I sat there last time, and yeah, you can see all the track lovers walking in around here, setting the trap. Small kind of one for a female, looks like. Never end up getting the trap off of that Martin back there. I, uh, his arm was caught a funny way, and you know, I would have broke his arm off if I tried to throw as hard. Next trap over by another one. Big kind of one. Male for sure. Had one there last time too. Last trip. Yeah, that's good. Picking up a few there now. <coughs> Got the trap off of that one. So that was good, a bonus. Them things. A little bit of um, little white on his toes again, la? like the one I had before. Not so much, but a little old bit, la, and two of them. Looks like an older kind of Martin, a little bit grey around the face. I think he only lives to be like nine or something, lifespan, nine years old. So, not a very long life, don't take long for them to turn into older Martins. Four and a half years to halfway through the life. So. It's like a older one here, you can always tell when you get the older one. Oh, well. Make a bed for here and move on again. <laughs> Next trap over by another Martin. See his old track there, though. You know, I had a little bit of snow in it. So when I box into here, it's off the road a bit. But, uh, he's caught like the style where I wired him in. Look. So, yeah. 
good catch. Yeah, I'll deal with you now, try to get the trap off and come into a few there now, so it's a good slow start, but picking up a few now. Just took out another one back there. I didn't take a video, he was right by the road and he was caught. Good catch right across the neck, easy to get out. So I never bothered to get the camera out. I just took it out real quick and went on. I just passed one trap just over here with nothing. But if I would have had something in the one back there, it would have been uh, four in a row. I had three in a row there and then I missed one. And uh, came here now and uh, I remember setting this one, I had to walk into one. I walked in the wrong place over there, looking around, looking around, couldn't see my trap. And then I looked over this way and uh, looked right at it. My trap with a Martin in it. They're lying back onto the tree there. So you can't really see him from the road. Jesus, size one too. Yes, sir. Nothing titty about that one. Big old dog one, look. Very thick too. It's good. I was wondering about this spot there for the last few minutes there driving. Crooked Brook, that brook I was on, walked out on in the last video. And I didn't have a Martin here the first trip over for after the five days there and uh, found an awful strange good old spot but there's just coming through around the turn there there's all sign of coming straight over and uh, sure enough look that's an awful good old place by usually get a Martin every trip over but the uh, first five days after the first five days when I come over there I never never had anyone cod dried cod's head big old fella look Nice one too. Yes sir, yep. Yeah. Always like to see one hung down here, a nice little spot. Oh, this is where I had the one last time. Uh, what I had to walk and look for. Way over there and, and I chased this track mosquito in. I put a bell oil back there though. Jeez, that's a good one. He looks awful dark down there. That's a monster, huh? Yes, sir. That one's gonna go on the XL, for sure. Man, he's a big one. The oil trap line, he never got really crossed the neck. He never lasts very long with that, them kind of traps. Yeah. Good, it's a nice one. It's the nicest one I had yet today. And the biggest. Something I just noticed with that Martin when I got looted around the tip of his tail, look. White tip on his tail. And when he looks inside, it's like, uh, very orange in there. Something you don't see very often. How nice that is. It's a big old fella, boy, look. And he's stretched out now on, on the drying board. Next trap over, another Martin bite. See all the old sign there, look. Where he was all in around. And uh, he got in the trap after a while. He was bumming around there a good bit. Back there, the same thing. See where he crossed the road there. Yeah, it's two back to back there, so. Another one. Just took another one out there. Just goes to show how little snow fell. In this way, look, I walk in on my track. And my lure, my little stick for lure there is all not even buried up. And uh, walking in on the, right down to the, my track from, uh, when I come in here on February 9th. So, never got much snow at all in here. So I was over to the last trap, because uh, last time I had, past the cabin I had three traps, last time and then I went and sat six more. Uh, I never turned the camera on for a while, but, so I drove on past them all and went to the last one. I had a Martin, and then uh, I just had a trap just over here, never had another one, and another one here. Nice dark one, look. So the uh, six traps I sought, the new ones I sought last time went six traps further. Uh, four Martin out of six traps. There's two more, two more just out here in a the row there. So I know I won't count them after, but I'm not sure what what I ended up with. So they're all checked now anyway. Well, well, well. Got a Martin here, and another one been come along only like last night because it snowed a bit last night or this morning uh, very brand new one already there you wouldn't touch so. and uh, the bait's gone 
so he went here robbed the bait and so that's good he'll be back <laughs> just as i was here having the Having a cup of tea, I noticed that uh, Martin ran right back at the cabin and he uh, must have jumped out of this tree too, huh? And jumped right up on the roof. Martin track on the roof. And uh, all around the door, huh? Oh, he's right to the door. Camp pond shelter. Yep, nice whole evening gonna be. Should have took a trap, put right on, nail right onto the back of the cabin. Well, got all the traps checked. Um, done pretty good head, heading back there now. I'm gonna repack all the Martins. Uh, I got 15 there, and two more out there. What I left to pick up going out, right? So, 17 Martins today. Some nice ones couple there couldn't get the trap off to the way they're caught so they'll come out with the trap on really legs down with the tail yeah martin track right there by the cabin don't no, 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 have no trap here brand new so yeah real good day to end off again yep yeah. anyways i better have repacked them and have something to eat and get going thanks for watching again